Great it'll city. probably graze the borders of Scotland before it disappears in that direction, leaving most of Scotland and Northern Ireland with a colder night at 8 to 9, but this is mild air, so 13 or 14 for most places south of about Derbyshire. Now, by about 8 in the morning, rush hour time if you like, commute to work, this is the picture greeting most in England. That actually, even now, I suspect this is a bit pessimistic. There could be a few more dry places just coming out of the west here. But at the moment, the forecast gives you the rain going that way and having left some at 8 in the morning. So the southwest peninsula is just seeing the sunshine, wet on the ground, dry in the air. The same is true for Wales. For the west you are, it's a better chance of seeing some morning sun. For Northern Ireland, of course, it's been a dry night. It's a dry morn. It's about 8 or 9 degrees. You look to your west, there is cloud building here, but nothing too much, nothing too much to worry about. And this is probably cloud-covered southern highlands as well. But sunshine's available for some. Note the rain just off the coast of Fife. Now, the whole lot, as I said, is moving eastwards, probably even quicker than the time here might indicate. By lunchtime, I suspect most of England could be seeing sunshine and then a few showers building afterwards, one or two of which could be heavy in England. The temperatures are not yet spectacular, remember? Remember that figure? But 17 or 18 so far. Now, on Thursday, we're looking at a fine day, 17 or 18 degrees. The breeze is of note, you'll notice, and the direction particularly interesting. Because although on Thursday and indeed Friday, that low is deepening tremendously, it's making no progress in our direction. It's kept at bay by that high. The isobars are tight, but there's a warm front going across us. A warm front means the front of warm air. I shouldn't have told you that, I know. Although on the front itself, I think greyness and drizzle seems likely, when you reveal the sunshine afterwards in England on Friday, and maybe for all of us on Saturday, the